Lady Writing a Letter with Her Maid, a visual essay by Shelby Huber. In this Johannes Vermeer painting, Lady Writing a Letter with Her Maid, which can be found at the National Museum of Ireland, a woman of high class is writing a letter, the recipient supposedly being her lover, while her maidservant stands in the background, gazing out of the window in a moment's content. The only highly emphasized characters in the work are the noblewoman, the servant, and the biblical painting in the background. All of the characters take place at the noblewoman's home in the common room. The personal values attained in the piece are obtaining personal growth, displaying the use of power, and the ability to practice openness with oneself and others. During the month of March of this year, I got to travel to Ireland and even got to visit the museum in which this painting is held. I was very excited to experience its beauty, but sadly, I got to the very last room where the work was supposed to be displayed. There was a sign in its place explaining that it was gone on exhibition in, in Amsterdam. To say the least, I was very disappointed that I missed out seeing the piece, especially since I traveled to a whole other country to try and see it. However, because I was so determined to see one painting, I got to see a multitude of paintings. Some were Monet's and Picasso's, some that were over 500 years old and others that were just recently created. I believe that learning about the composition of art and all of its elements and principles was a much needed supplement for maximizing my experience when viewing all of these famous works. From my aesthetic experience of the work, I can't help but focus my attention on the woman in the painting that is assumed to be the maid, and how she gives me a sense of wholeness and ease in her gaze looking out the stained glass window. The colors and saturation are pleasing to the eyes, and the amount of realism being the painting together as a whole. The location of the piece affects the viewer's experience by exemplifying the setting of hospitality, by creating the surroundings of a home. It puts the viewer in the perspective of being in a home, therefore expelling the essence of familiarity and drawing in feelings of belonging and relatability. I chose this image because it was a visual reflection of how I resonate with being whole and truthful in a certain situations. It was a subtle depiction of how I wanted to express my sense of wholeness to being put through life's many challenges. I don't think any other images would have brought the same type of justice to how I felt about my life. The artist Vermeer creates this piece in a genre setting representing natural everyday normality. The painting was thought to be completed within the span of the years 1670 and 1671. It is known for its element of illusion in creating hyper-realistic artwork of people and places. The artistic time period was set in the Baroque period, which embraced elements of naturalism and spirituality. The theme lies in the ability to see through life in, within its barriers, to see life as courage through the will of an individual. Contemporary interpretation of the story equated to it with God's ability to conciliate opposing factions. These illusions have led critics to construe Vermeer's theme as a need to achieve reconciliation through individual effort and with faith in God's divine plan. The spiritual reconciliation will lead to the serenity personified in the maid figure, Bob Gallery of Art. Vermeer was a Dutch period painter and was thought to be one of the most notable pioneers in genre painting at the time and helped implement the powerful messages and stories one scene from a painting can possess. Vermeer ultimately dedicated all of his works to this type of art style. When addressing the rule of thirds, each segment has its own variety, unity, and balance situated in all optical perspectives of the foreground, middle ground, and background of the painting. In the foreground, the artist depicts who is assumed to be the lady of the house, writing her letter with great compassion. Vermeer illustrates the woman with light and soft colors to display her class and rank in contrast to her lady-in-waiting, 
which is displayed as the focal point in the middle ground of the painting. The painting's middle ground is where we see most of the light being exercised and details the duality of both maid and noble woman being exemplified. The duality that is being given is concentrated on the division of color and light as both bodies are being represented to their viewer. The background of the painting comes as evidence of layered stories being told all, to, told all at once. The first story, the foreground, is of the noble woman writing her letter to her possible lover. The second story, the middle ground or focal point, is of the maidservant looking out of the window, daydreaming. The final story, the background, is a biblical reference to Moses being found by the Pharaoh's daughter. Vermeer probably wanted to tell us that the lady's amorous fate is predestined in the same way that Moses' life was. Google Arts and Culture Clearly, Vermeer wanted to attach more than one meaning or purpose to his painting in how he created two interlocking stories into one art piece. Vermeer's work is an oil painting. He used light brushing when creating this piece. He was sure to keep his colors pure for his color emphasis, but blended when he wanted to present his dark chromatic hues. The contour and outline of the painting are most relevant when observing the slender and vertical nature of the piece. The directional lining makes up the steadiness of the piece and how it displays the further movement of the shape. Shape and mass are exemplified primarily in the foreground and background. In the foreground, there are examples of positive shapes such as square and rectangular attributes. And in the background, there are also examples of this with undertones of negative shaping as it outlines the painting of Moses. The exhibition of light is the most permanent part of the work. The use of light supports the two-dimensionality of the piece and captures the use of value that is being distributed in the rule of thirds. It casts a shadow and outlines places where the viewer should look for clarity. Vermeer's use of color is represented in a rather dull values in its pigments and lets small exceptions of blues and reds be intensified to give the painting an accent. The dull values also adhere to a monochromatic harmony with light and dark creams and grays. With another attribute to light, we can see the texture being expelled from the furnishings and the textiles used to decorate the house and the bodies that occupy it. As a decorative visual, we can see the patterns being used on the flooring and the walls. Even though this is a small feature of the work, the patterns help visualize the depths of the painting. The space being used gives definition to the background and foreground of the painting. Instead of accepting the work as just a flat surface, we can see the depth of the two-dimensionality that is implied to support the other elements of the painting, such as light, texture, and color. There is a two-point linear perspective that at the focal point is from the foreground centered by the lady writing her letter. There is not an explicit example of where the vanishing point is in the painting, but gives the painting clarity from the receding lines and structures that outline the work. One career that jumps out at me is probably a dressmaker when I look at this painting. One of the things that I first noticed about the painting was the contrast in both women were dressed and that instantly told me that there was a difference in class between them. I think being a dressmaker back then would have been a very important job because it was literally the order in which women could show their wealth and status. The more elaborate and detailed the design and more expensive the fabric, the more you would be noticed. Dressmakers are responsible for creating custom garments and clothing. They may work on a wide range of projects from simple alterations to completely new designs. Insights. The forecasted medium salary for a dressmaker nowadays is about $50,000 annually. Dressmakers usually work solitarily at home or in a studio with a small group of people. Finally, Vermeer's work is a really something to be marvel at and is a rare spectacle that can be captured by such individuality. His work not only gives an interest to his audience, but he helps depict a layered story that shifts with the light and movement of the painting. 
His duality embodies the shift between the literal and biblical sense of the peace and exemplifies what it means to be a part of God's plan. By using the principles of design, Vermeer uses all elements to invite the structure and balance needed to tell the story of the peace. The values of obtaining personal growth, displaying the use of power, and the, abil and the ability to practice openness with oneself is mastered and illustrated to an acute extent. Citations used.